You are watching BetSafe. We are talking the Battle of Manchester. It's City versus United in the derby. Let's look at the blue corner. We have City legends, Paul Dickoff, Trevor Sinclair, Richard Dunn and Nicky Weaver. We've got Stephen McKenney from Blue Moon Rising and the cheeky but City through and through chappy. In the red corner, Anthony, million dollar crawler. He likes that. Red legends, David May, Clayton Blackmore, and from England and the British and Ireland Lions, Mark Quato. We've got Adam McCola from the full-time Devils site, and we've got red ledge, Nicky Culkin. Now to start things off, either one of you can. We've got Pep, we've got Jose. There's no love lost between the two of them. Who do you think has had the biggest impact? Well, obviously I'm going to say Pep. I think, um, you know, Jose's came in, spent a lot of money. Is Pep not? Pep spent more. All right, calm down. That's <laughs> <laughs> Face the front. One <laughs> um, I think the style of football's so much better. Attractive. Scoring goals for fun, not relying just on one player. Goals throughout the team. So I think you've got to say Pep. You've got it. It's Pep because of how in the what table. Do you want to share? Sorry? What do you want to share? Yes, but, <laughs> you can keep the Carly Cup if you want to, but you won't even get in the Champions ah. League, so it's totally irrelevant. Ah. So, so, so we're one up this year, our trophies. <laughs> Pep smiles and yours doesn't. If he doesn't win your game, he's smiling or not smiling. <clears throat> what about Jose then? Is, is, he, is, he, think, is he loved by United fans? I think Jose Mourinho had a bigger job to do. Um, he's had a lot, lot to do and I think he's doing a decent enough job. He's raising the levels in training, he's raising the levels on the pitch. Um, and I think you'll see the best from Manchester United next season. As for Pep Guardiola, he's, got, he's, he's a fantastic coach, um, but we'll see. He's already showing signs that he's going to crack. Um, <laughs> and, and, and I think we'll see that more as the years and the months go by. Is he cracking, lads? What, what, so, close. what sayings are he's cracking? Uh, he's lost all his hair. He had a bit left. He's, lo <laughs> he's lost the rest of that. Trev, What's wrong with that? Trev's cracking. Trev's cracking. Yeah, absolutely. Trev cracked crack ages ago. <laughs> after he left QPR, I think. Um, <laughs> no, listen. I understand what he's saying uh, about Pep. Everyone thinks he's coming here for three years. Um, for me, he's going to be a lot longer at Manchester City. I think he's looking at the longer term. You know, I think over there with Mr. Woodward, he wants everything yesterday. It's not going to happen. And they're going to have to fight their way back like, um, you know, like Liverpool are still doing from the 80s. Um, you're starting to kind of morph into Liverpool, in my opinion. Um, but you look at what, what Pep's doing at Manchester City, he's building for the future. Mark, you come from a sport that is known for its respect. And the way that Jose says things in press conference sometimes, the way he treats people, does he alienate himself a little bit? Yeah, I think, I think it's difficult, but I think it's all about his personality. And I think at the end of the day, United need a big personality at the top. Um, it was always going to be difficult after taking over the reins from, from Fergie, but for me, he was the right, he was the right man to, to come in. Hopefully, they'll stick by him for the long term and he'll, uh, you know, we'll turn the club around a bit. Now, some of you lads might have a view on this, but Jose's talking about teams turning up and parking the bus. Is there a little bit of irony in there? Does he not do that at times? I think they did it at Liverpool early on this season, didn't he? Yeah. They had a flat back six at the end, so yeah. it's a little bit pot calling kettle, but... At least we know how to defend, lads. <laughs> defend you That's what it just say. shows that happy going know how to defend, yeah, yeah. You're looking at a manager, Jose Mourinho is a manager that knows how to win games multiple ways. Pep Guardiola's stuck in his way. If it's not plan A, it's not working. Jose Mourinho has a plan A, plan B and a plan C. The plan A isn't working anymore because his whole philosophy, Mourinho's, is built on this kind of siege mentality. And I think the cracks began to show at Chelsea. As a result, that kind of aura of invincibility around him, it's just not there anymore. People aren't scared of Mourinho. They're not scared of his ideas and his philosophy. Football will always win, eventually. It'll always kind of come through. Where some of that anti-football stuff, it only works for a certain period of time, and people get used to it. If you defend constantly, you're not constantly going to win games. So I'd always rather have Pep's philosophy, personally, because at, it's entertaining. You I think you look at two, two managers who've come into both Manchester clubs in the summer, and you look at some of the players within that group of players for both clubs. Rashford, on fire last year, obviously disappointed in the Euros, didn't play enough, not featured hardly at all this season. That's, that's, that's a shame for me, to bring in a player at 34, 35, who's been a great addition to the Premier League, but is that the Manchester United way? Because that's not the future, that's short-termism. Mm. I think with Jose, he knows how to deal with seasoned players. Yeah, I do, I, Pep, I agree with that. Pep wants to do it through the Etihad campus. He wants to bring players from Manchester 
through the Etihad campus and make them successful. And that's why he's not going to be there for three years, he'll be there for longer. Well, Richard, what about the defence? I mean, it, it does look wobbly at times, doesn't it? Yeah, but that's, that's where the enjoyment of watching Man City comes from. You know, you can go to Old Trafford and we've all watched United and they have dominated games, but ultimately they're, they're drawing and they can't break teams down. Whereas City have thought, well, it's just score. You know, the fans love it. I'm sure going to every game, they know they're going to be entertained and that's what we all want to see, really. David May, what would you do to shore up their defence, City? I, I do think they need a keeper and two centre-halves. I mean, John Stones is, it's a miss at the moment. He's young, but, you know, he's uh, potentially, he could be absolutely world-class. And I think under Pep, he will become a top, top centre-half. Nicky and Nicky, I mean, first of all, should Joe Hart have gone? I don't think so. Personally, I think he's the best keeper they've still got on the books. Uh, I'd love to see him back in the City shirt. I don't think it's going to happen. Bravo's come over. He's obviously a good goalkeeper. Fantastic with his feet, but for me, it's about keeping the ball out of the net. It's one way United, I think, have got one up on City because obviously David De Gea is a you know, fantastic goalkeeper. You know, arguably the best in the Premier League. That said, but still being pursued, isn't he, by Real Madrid? I mean, could you lose him? Where, where would you replace him? We'd have options to, to replace David De Gea. He's, he's always going to leave Manchester United. I think the beauty of that is we've got a manager that will build a better defence. So our goalkeeper isn't going to have to be, hopefully, Brilliant. worked as much as, as, as he has been over the last couple of years. Um, <clears throat> on the younger players thing, Marcus Rashford has played over 30 times for Manchester United this season. I think it's kind of easy to say, oh, he doesn't play. Uh, Mourinho is not playing him. He has been playing for United and not he has got game time. Not really in the big games. Yeah, so. you've got to give these players time to develop. Rashford isn't the end product. We've seen that. You can't rely on Marcus Rashford. You only get that by playing games, though. He does play games. He's played over 30 times this I mean, season. How many starts? I don't know, but he has played over 30 he's times this season. He's made a hell of a lot of sub appearances. That, but he's a younger player. That's not doing his development any good, not playing games. With Marcus, he's, he was a winger till he was 16. Then he mm. turned into... We started playing him up front in the youth team and the problem he's got he's now learning in front of 75,000 how to play centre forward and people are expecting him to he goes one on one they expect him to score he's probably never been in that position very often because yeah. like I say as a kid he was growing up on the left wing for us and has, Pogba, sudden, has Pogba done anything for you this year? Pogba for me I think he's just trying a little bit too hard Things aren't so quite you look at the off. players he was playing with as well, quality players. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. The shape was around him, wasn't it? Yeah, was he, yeah, was he very, the money? very intelligent yeah. players around him. Yeah, but yeah, the money, so I don't think the money that, comes into it for me. Yeah. He's I mean, not the money, got that same quality of players around him, I don't think. I think, think. his performances have been pretty... I think he's been let down a lot by finishing at times. I think he could have had double figures assists if people took their chances. And I mean, clear-cut chances he's been creating for players. His all-round performances have been pretty good, but he's playing in a different position to in what the big he was games? under Juve. In he the... hasn't performed great in the big games. No. This, this is what let, has let Manchester United down this season. Do you think you're going to be in the Champions League next I'm year? I'm chairing this, Trevor. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we do do it through the Europa, it's another trophy. It's not, um, it's not top four, but we get Champions League football, which is the aim. If we don't get Champions League football, then no, nah, it's not good enough for a club like Manchester United. Is this the battle for fourth, or are you, are you going to do better than that? Are you hoping for better? I'm top four. I think so. I'm fine with top four this season. You've got to be top four, to but you've... Top three, then we don't yeah. have to... Yeah, yeah. Qualify. Josie top did three. say as well, yeah. at the start of the season, that it was a squad that could challenge for the league title. That's what he said in August. And since then, he's come out and said recently, maybe we have to evaluate the, uh, the value of this squad in terms of ability at the moment. Um, so he's changed his... Uh, yeah, but you'd, his you'd, you'd much already. rather hear Mourinho say, you know, it's a squad to challenge that than... We have to aspire to be like Man yeah. City, like yeah, the other managers have said. An improvement, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. You wouldn't so, think it, though. He's such a miserable man on the sideline in the technical area. You wouldn't think he'd enjoyed at least the first six in months. The area. <laughs> it's six months of his, his career yeah. at Manchester United. You keep talking about how moody Jose is, but <laughs> Pep's is as bad. Pep just doesn't like the media and the lack of respect the media give him. Yeah. You can't when take he, the pressure. He, he as play as teams off the... Same off. as Jose. They're the top, the top managers always get more yeah. stick. You know, the media are going to have a go at them because they're, they're news. I think it's very difficult, to, unless you've actually worked with the manager, to, to really give a clear insight yeah. into what they like. I, th I, I'm, I agree with Trevor, I think he's here for the long term, Pep. And it's a long time since, I mean, I've been at City since 92 and it's a long time, I can't remember a manager where the players and the staff respect the guy, love the guy as much as they do this fella. He's been a great player, he's got a great record in management, he's renowned as a brilliant coach. 
Um, Jose, obviously, I don't think he ever played the game, did he? But Chappie, that's a professional level. That respect was given before he even joined, I think, because of what he's done in, in the past. Absolutely. Yeah. Record. But he could have went out in the summer and signed season pros 30, 32, 33. Who knows how to win? Probably spent more than everybody else, spent hundreds and hundreds of millions and won the league this year. But he didn't want to do that because he, he knew, knew that he had to build something. And I think, you are saying, next season with Jose, you'll see the best of him. I think, I think we will be Pep as well. Yeah. Well, it's the 174th Manchester derby. Uh, United have won 72, City have won 50. But where you are standing right now, not just league positions, but just standing in the city, who's the biggest club now? You know, with the, with the, with the grounds and everything, who's the biggest club? Manchester United are much the bigger team, bigger club, the history. history. Yeah, it's the only time they're going to have a full attendance is when they play Manchester United. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's it. I'm off you. I, think, I don't think you can argue with who's the biggest club at this particular moment in time. I mean, they've had a phenomenal couple of decades, Manchester United. I think if you have this forum again in another five or six years, any opinions might have changed. But I just think, I think we should have this meeting again in five or six years and see <laughs> what, how many trophies this side of the city has won and how many they have. I think, it'll, it'll, I think it's our era now. At BetSafe, we don't advocate violence, but if it came to blows in, in the uh, technical area, who would win out of Pep and Jose? It'd be some battle between the pair of them, but Jose would do anything he needs to to win. Whether it be low blows, rabbit punches. Tells you a lot about the man. Tells you a lot about he's, the man. Uh, he's a winner. Is it going to be a classic, this one, do you think? Or did, I mean, we've seen some great games in the past, haven't we? The 6 1, you've seen, remember the Rooney no. goal, Owen's late one, there's been some contentious ones. It won't be a classic because we know Jose will tactically go there to try and do a job. <laughs> That's obvious. Um, as for our attack, I think Manchester United's attack is pretty good. We've got a lot of good options, and I think it's only going to get better. Where's the, ma will, where's the match winner coming from, do we think? Leroy Sane, for me. Yeah. Home side. So I think he's going to uh, have a hell of a game and I think he'll uh, do bad things to Valencia. He's done it to Bellerin twice so far this season and he's, that pace is just electrifying. I think Sane is going to be the difference personally. If it, it, in the final, United are in the final. Any of you, would you support them in any way, shape or form? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah. Why, yeah. That well, was... you know, English side in a, in a final, a European yeah, final. I guess the final question, if you can at all, be impartial, <laughs> who's going to win? Probably I think it'll be very Probably close, very close. So he's a confident there, isn't it? Tight game. Well, Rooming well, with confidence. Well, in the last nine years, we've won eight and they've won eight in the Premier League. Um, Good start. I think we'll dominate possession uh, and I hope it's not the story of a lot of games that we've had this season where we have created so many chances and missed so many. If we can capitalise on the chances that we make, then we'll win the game. They want a draw. No, I'm <laughs> well, I don't really know who won the debate, but not long now to find out who wins the game. Check out all the latest odds on betsafe.com. And remember, you've got to be in it to win it.